G'day, good evening, Matt here. Welcome to tutorial uh, number eight. Uh, this is going to be the assets tab part one. Just a refresher from uh, last time when we finished off the accounts, we also mentioned every time you make changes to your expenses report, you need to go into the accounts, click in the side of the pivot table, right click and click refresh. So you've got the latest data. Then we'll move down into the bottom left hand corner where we've got our saving status. So currently all our savings are empty for Bruce and Betty's Super, the Mojo, and I've got a Riaz and Shares account in there, but I'm going to show you how to change those to whatever savings you have. Um, we've got nothing in our Super either. So let's move to the Assets tab. First of all, um, we've got in Bruce and Betty's names have been populated through there. I'm just going to click and drag that out of the way. And then we can see we've got some pre-populated numbers for annual total superannuation, uh, monthly, and then monthly salary of sacrifice. Then we've got our combined values for Bruce and Betty, and then our combined family values of just over 2,100. So let's put Bruce's in. I'm just going to give it a nice round 100 grand, basically same as his salary. And Betty, uh, let's go a nice round 50. Yeah, so we've got a total of 115 super. So for December, I'll give you, I put December in there, so I'll give you a bit of a practice. So all I'm going to do is uh, do ballpark superannuations and add them monthly to the year start. So what have we got? We've got 101, 2, 5, 0. And then we've got 50. Let's go at 900. There. Uh, I actually like to look at my super once a month. I just click on uh, to the um, Horse Plus um, website and you just see how it's just tracking along. And then on our date nights, so you just enter in the value. Uh, barefoot says to set and forget, but I actually like to have a look and see how it's performing. Uh, so we've got December in there now. Uh, I'll just drop January in there as well. And then we can have a look what's happened on the front page dashboard. So we've got 102, uh, let's call it, um, why not not, and then we've got, let's call it 52,000, yep, so the total in Bruce is totaling down there, that's his totals, Betty's totals, and then all the super latest, go onto the dashboard, and we can see those two values have dropped in now, so hopefully throughout the year, this will increase and you'll start to see those values climb up. We've got the latest savings in here so you can check quickly what you've got for Bruce, Bruce's super latest and Betty's super latest. Let's go back to the accounts. Yeah, so then throughout the year, you're just going to drop the latest values in here on your date nights. And that's it basically for the super section. Part two, we'll look at the savings mojo uh, and your savings account. Hey, good evening and welcome. I'm Matt here with tutorial number nine. This is Assets tab part two. So we finished off uh, Assets tab part one, putting in our accumulated super for Betty and Bruce uh, for December and January. Uh, there they are, those are the two uh, totals for Betty and Bruce. Uh, but we've got blanks in our Mojo Raise and Shares account. So I'll show you how to fill those in now and navigate to the Assets tab. So the yellow headers means that you can change the names of those and those will automatically change. Uh, keep Mojo as it is, but maybe you're not going to have a raise account and uh, you might just have some bonds in that one. Yeah, and this might be your shares portfolio. It's got more than one set of shares, uh, so we'll just go back to the dashboard. So those have updated automatically there, shares, bonds, and sh uh, Mojo, bonds, and shares portfolio. So we'll fill these in now. So we'll just, uh, again, just to kick off for the new year, we'll put our year start in. Uh, so Mojo, let's say that we've got the 2000 in there. And then into December, uh, as for our date night in December, we'll put uh, another $100 into Mojo. And then in our January date night, we'll put another $100 in. 
Simple, yeah, and then we just keep on going down each date night, filling in what the next value is. You'll be adding on a bit of interest, hopefully, as you go along. And hopefully you won't be taking any out. You could um, you could say maybe you came to some difficulty, I don't know, your coffee machine blew up or something. Uh, and you have to spend another $700, so you take that out of your mojo. And then we go back down to 15. So it automatically calculates the latest date. So if we go back to the dashboard, you can see Mojo's jumped in there, and that's down to 1,500 because we need a coffee machine, don't we? So we can't do it without that. Go to the assets tab. I'm just going to delete that out and just show in December and January. And then moving across, so uh, we've got our bonds. This could be we have one for our son, a uh, child investment bond. Uh, let's say we've got three and a half thousand in that. And then uh, we've got these uh, numbers here. So these numbers are automatically populated from your expenses uh, chart. And if you do try and change them, you should get a, a warning. This cell has automated formulas. So it's cancel to continue, cancel. So if you want to change that, you need to go back to your expenses tab uh, where you've got your savings, bonds, or your mojo, uh, and then change the value there. And that'll change the value back onto this spreadsheet. So we're putting in $100 a month. Uh, I think we might be coming that payment, uh, might be coming from a fire extinguisher or something like that. So 3,500, 600, and then we'll call that 3,700. Shares portfolio, uh, well, you could have one each, so you might need to combine them. I only added in two savings accounts on one mojo because um, I thought that would be enough for the average person. I couldn't keep on adding uh, forever and ever. So if you do have a number of different investments types, you probably need to collate them into one and then add them a cumulative there and add them both together as you go down. Or if you're smart enough, you can just insert a column uh, and copy across the um, copy across the formulas and that'll work out yourself. But you'll have to reorganize the dashboard if you did that. So shares portfolio, let's say we've got $5,000 in the shares portfolio and we're putting in, um, we're buying say $75 a month of shares plus you're going to get interest on the top of that. So let's say we get 5,100 that month uh, and a nice round 5,200 in January. So all those figures now should have populated now through to our dashboard so we can see everything together. Let's go have a look. There we see, all the saving status has now all been populated. We've got Mojo, Bonds, and Shares Portfolio. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're gonna look at the debt status uh, and see how we've got all our debts uh, running in. They're all empty at the moment, uh, and we've got all our values empty as well. So we're gonna go populate those. So I'll see you then.